1 Thessalonians 5, 12 to 13. We beseech you, brethren, to know them who labor, who work. What am I doing now? I'm working. I'm feeding you. Know them. Take time to know your pastors. Know them. There are certain things if you tell me about my spiritual father, I will slap you. My father said, I cannot entertain any environment where they speak against Egan, speak against Copeland, speak against Idahosa, speak against Adeboye, or speak against Osborne. I will never thrive in an environment where you say one negative thing about my father. I will literally slap you. Seriously. You can't, you see, when you are covenantly tied to somebody, you don't stay in an environment where they say, you speak evil of the person. Except you are not in covenant and not one spirit. Because, listen, when they speak against him and you are in covenant with them, they are speaking against you. You are next to be spoken against. Now, in, in, in the spiritual, that's your life source. This is where you are drawing. And you are talking against them and you are saying, <laughs> in that environment, how, 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 how is that possible? You are not lawyer. You are not lawyer. You don't survive. I can't survive. And you speak against my mentors. Or nobody has been able to mention anything about my mentor. Nobody has been able to ask me one single question. He's still my mentor. When I'm loyal to somebody, I'm loyal to death. You don't pick and choose. Who does he make mistakes? That's not license, but you are loyal till the end. Don't pick and choose. So people can crucify and sell their pastor, right? They shout area, all the prophecies are coming. Hey, hey. Then they hear one thing. And then they are listening to me. You don't lost your mind. Seriously. Bad news sells better than good news. In the world. But in the kingdom, it should be otherwise. You must defend your pastor. You must defend your church. That is where you eat from. Or you will not have anywhere else to eat. It's important we teach you these things. Me, I have no intention to do anything. Because human beings are too dangerous. Apart from their fear of God, people... Not people. People. Know them with labor among you and est look at the word. Put it there. Esteem them very, where are the English language people? What is esteem? Esteem them very highly in love for their work's sake. And because when you esteem them, not look, it didn't say esteem them highly. He said esteem them very highly. Put them, look, what does he say? Overwhelm, overwhelm them with appreciation. them with appreciation with and love. Appreciation. And love. And love. Hey. You see, we need to teach this to the body of Christ. Esteem them very highly. We're not saying put them on a pedestal that they are uh, the Pope, that they can never uh, make a mistake or get angry. That's what we say. Honor. Respect them. Overwhelm them with appreciation. Appreciate them. Love them. Honor them. Esteem them highly. It is a, they are autocrats. And, you know, they say, you know, you understand what I'm talking about? On, appreciate them. Love them. Love them. You will sell somebody you love. You will sit down for one whole hour talking about somebody you love. Hmm. May say, hmm. and when they say, hmm, that means many things are coming. Hmm. That's the Ghana. Hmm. May say, as my yeke, yeke bio. That means I say hmm. these things we are saying. Hmm. I'm sure there's more there, hmm. and I've been talking. You know, hmm. and then the more they keep doing it, the message is sweeting them. And God is watching them from heaven. And as soon as they finish talking, they speak in tongues. It shall not happen to anybody here. You are being, <laughs> these things I'm telling you is not for our sake. 
No. Eh, eh. <laughs> look at me. Do I look concerned about anything? <laughs> when I sleep, I sleep. I, st I can stand and sleep. Ask my, my family, they'll tell you. I sit in a chair and I sleep. They leave me there, but they know I'm enjoying myself. I can stand and be talking to you. When it's time to sleep, I sleep in front of you. I have no care in the world. I don't know what people say about me, good or bad. I don't hear good things about me. I don't hear bad things about me. So my life is, I'm so busy accomplishing my task to hit my 120. And if I'm not satisfied with 120, to live longer. So where am I going to sit to hear what you said about my ear? That is standing out more today. I mean, where am I going to stand? There are more important things in life than gossiping. So don't join other people, other believers who do that. They are not saved. Your time is more precious than that. Esteem your pastor. Esteem them very. Love them. Appreciate them. And then he says, you shall be at peace among you. So it is in whose interest? You will be at peace. So when you see your pastor coming, you are not shifty. You know when you do something against certain people, you see them coming, you are, you, nobody has said anything. They evil flee when no man pursueth them. You know what you are doing, you see them coming, they say, if you are, I'm talking to you. <laughs> and you can't look into my eyes, at least for four minutes continuously. <laughs> see, 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 what have you done? Let me slap the ball. <laughs> for, uh, let's say one minute, continue. Hey, I'm talking to you. Come on here. One whole minute. If you are doing, you know, see, you can be looking at it. <laughs> See, some people you are talking to them, they are doing. <laughs> you know these people. They have done something they shouldn't do. You see them, you know, you see. <laughs> and then they are looking at their shoe, and then they are looking. <laughs> Look at the neighbor and say, stand straight. Shout I hear. Esteem them. Number three, esteem them highly in love and be at peace among yourself. Number four, pray for him daily. We have a book here called How to Pray for Your Church. Look, look listen. Pray for him daily in the spirit and intelligently. That's why we wrote the book How to Pray for Your Church and Your Pastor. Buy that book. Everybody buy it because now you'll be praying at 5 a.m. every day to get close to God and hear God quickly. Pray for him in the spirit. And in, in the spirit means praying in tongues for him. So you mention his name and you start praying in tongues. So the Holy Ghost takes over and started, start doing certain things in his life for you. And then you pray intelligently. That is using the word to pray. There are prayers you pray about the word. That he will behold wondrous things from God's word. Psalm 119 verse 18. And then listen to this. He said you must pray prayers like that. He will be delivered from them that do not believe. And that signs and wonders will be wrought through him and as he ministers the word. And that the word of God will have free course and have great impact. He said, the Bible says, pray for, Paul said, pray for me that I'll be delivered from unreasonable and wicked men. For not all men have faith. Paul said to his disciples, the people, pray for me that I will be delivered from wicked and non and with where God is. You see, the higher you go, the more criticism. Some of you, very soon, with where God is taking us, some of you will see you. Some people will see you and say, are you still there? I'm sure that man still takes two offerings. And your answer shouldn't be, hmm, me, my, hmm, hmm, hmm. hmm. <laughs> means I have some things to say, but I can't say, hmm. That shouldn't be your answer. As we go higher, people will be talking to, about you. They'll be talking about your church, that TV that you are on. You know, some people even think they've, they've invaded my spiritual father's church. They, are, uh, they sent spies from the government to go and sit in the congregation. What were they there for? To find out how they make their money. And they didn't see anything. They said, I'm sure they have a printing machine under the, 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 the building. They went there. They didn't see anything. They said, I'm sure they got it from... See, they will manufacture things. And if you are not one spirit with your pastor, and you are not covenant tight, and you are not strong, you can be swayed by what they are saying out of envy. We, we have just started. Though. I'm preparing you for success. Success comes with criticism. This church is only 150 members. 
people are afraid. So what would they do when we are 300? We are in KICC and faith, and they are shivering. So what would they do when we buy our own TV station? We have our technical people right there. So what would they do when we have our studio? You see, church is not an entertainment center. This church is very visionary. We are very focused. Very focused. That's why we are accomplishing the things we are accomplishing by the hand of God within these small years. People hate success and successful people. So sometimes they'll trap you. That's how they got Judas. That's how they got Judas. Judas was, look, Judas was meant to have a throne in heaven. Twelve, twelve. The twelve disciples, he was meant to have a throne. He was deceived. Just for how many pieces of silver? Oh. Twenty pieces of silver. He hanged himself in Akeldama, field of blood, by selling Jesus. Meanwhile, he had a throne to rule in the future Israel. And a throne in heaven. Lost it by people speaking against the lead. This Jesus, hmm. This is your pastor these days. Hmm. I'm telling you, you have to watch it. Oh. Judas, this salary they are giving you, I am.